Hello friends you are watching eWorld. Fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have already had to wait an extra six months to see Scarlett Johansson star in the Black Widow movie, and if the current release date finally holds, they'll be waiting a bit longer. The original Avengers first solo movie was pushed back once again to May 7, 2021, thanks to a series of COVID-19 induced delays. It's really not that complicated. I've got red in my ledger and I'd like to wipe it out. What's been known for a long time is that the film is intended to be set after the events of Captain America, Civil War, but before Avengers, Infinity War and Endgame. In addition to Johansson, it stars Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova, another Black Widow who underwent training in the Red Room, Rachel Weisz as Melina Vostikov, an experienced widow, and David Harbour as Alexei Shostakov, a Russian super soldier known as Red Guardian. Little is known about the film's main villain, the masked and armored Taskmaster. We don't even know the name of the actor playing the role. Despite the production setbacks, the steady drip of new information and collateral materials from the film continues to trickle in. In this case, some new pictures have dropped that show actor O.T. Fagbun Lin character as Rick Mason, a character described by Entertainment Weekly as a contact from Natasha Romanoff's past and a potential love interest. The pictures appear to originate from Marvel's Black Widow, the official movie special book and were posted on Twitter November 1st by Yelena Barnes underscore sprinkled in among a number of other behind-the-scenes shots of stunts and other big action sequences. In one of these, Mason is chatting with Natasha outside a B-toop-looking airplane somewhere in a grassy field. It appears as though she trusts him at this point in the film. This is notable largely because Mason is one of the prime suspects to be Taskmaster. The comic version of Taskmaster possesses the wonderfully named ability of photographic reflexes, which allows him to duplicate the movements or fighting styles of someone else after watching them. Basically, after some time in the film room, he can teach himself to shoot a bow like Hawkeye, throw a shield like Captain America, or fight like Black Widow. Based on portions of the trailer that seem to show him fighting with both a bow and a shield, it seems fair to say the cinematic counterpoint will operate much the same in practice. If it turns out to be Mason under the mask, it looks like it will come as a surprise to Natasha. What's a spy that hasn't been double-crossed by someone they trusted? This wouldn't be the first case of a trusted colleague betraying a Marvel character. Heck, it wouldn't even be the first betrayal executed on a remote airstrip in the MCU's history. Still, there's a reason Taskmaster's true identity is still up in the air, and that's because because there are more suspects. Whatever link to Natasha Rick Mason ends up having, it likely won't be as close as that of Vostokov, who is described as a mother figure to Romanov and Belova. Vostokov is likely already a skilled combatant, and if she were imbued with Taskmaster's unique abilities, they would make her a formidable threat to Natasha. The MCU has a long and redundant history of family conflict, so there's a pretty good chance we'll see this theme once again. Fittingly enough, Fag Ben has already dropped and deleted a pair of possible hints on social media. One where he included a hashtag TM in a post about his role in the movie, and one reference to the conspiracy theory that he's Taskmaster in a video on Instagram Live. The other photos are not much help resolving these mysteries. One shows Mason leaning against the same plane without Natasha in the frame, while another depicts Mason in a different outfit and only confirms his character's love of plaid flannels. Whether that makes him more or less likely to be Black Widow's evil mastermind, you'll have to wait until at least May of 2021 to see.